Hey there, money makers and remote work enthusiasts. Welcome back to the channel where we turn boring jobs into exciting opportunities. Today, we're gonna to be diving into nine remote jobs that might not sound glamorous, but trust me, they're like hidden treasure chests in the work from home world. But before we jump in, go ahead and cheers the subscribe button and the like button and ring the bell as well, because you don't wanna miss out on the future videos that could be changing your career game. Now, let's go ahead and get into these nine jobs that'll have you working in your pajamas and either yawning or laughing all the way to the bank. So number Number one on the list is going to be a virtual fish counter. Yes, you heard that right. A job where you literally count fish. But hold your seahorses, it's not as simple as one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. You'll be monitoring underwater camera feeds and counting fish for environmental studies. And it's kind of like being a marine biologist minus the wetsuit and possible shark encounters. So here's what you'd start out at and here's what the average would be on Glassdoor. So just as a very quick guide to land this job, you want to go ahead and get familiar with marine biology basics. And of course, that can be looked up online. Then you want to practice video analysis skills. And then you want to start looking for positions with environmental agencies or research institutes. And what's really going to help you here is having a portfolio that has something to do with the positions that you're applying for. And of course, you can build up this experience completely free and just build portfolio projects. Now, some websites that you could check out for job listings are going to be indeed.com, of course, and marinecareers.net. So I did think this one was going to be pretty funny, and that's why I put it in the video. But with all joking aside, this one is very boring. There's also not that many jobs available out there, but it is an opportunity for the right type of person in the right situation. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score, because honestly, there's limited positions, but it is a growing field. Speaking of counting, let's swim upstream to our next job where you'll be counting something a bit less slippery. And that's going to be an online exam proctor. Imagine being paid to watch people take tests. It's kind of like being a CIA agent minus the cool gadgets and life threatening situations, because you're going to be monitoring students during online exams to ensure academic integrity. And of course, many people are taking exams online now. And so this is perfect for people who can do flexible shifts and those who enjoy catching cheaters in the act. So here's what you start out at. And here's what the average would be on Glassdoor. So some quick tips to land the job, you want to go ahead and familiarize yourself with online proctoring software, you also want to develop strong attention to detail, then you want to brush up on academic integrity policies. Now some websites that hire for these types of careers all the time are going to be proctoru.com pearson.com slash careers, and of course, flexjobs.com. So the opportunity score for this one is going to be eight out of 10. Uh, it's got high demand, especially during exam season. So it's especially good if you're okay with working flexible shifts and working a lot more during exam season. But with that being said, you're probably not gonna stay in this one as a full-time career. Quick break. So I know you guys wanna know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote. And you also wanna know how you can work remote as well. And that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram. So definitely follow me. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram. So it's a really good place to get a hold of me. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you want to work remote and you want help doing that. Uh, link is in the description and the pinned comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. So from watching test takers to listening to talkers, our next job on this list might have you reaching for the mute button. And that's going to be a transcript editor. Now, if you've ever watched a YouTube video with hilariously bad auto generated captions, this job might be for you because you're going to be the superhero of saving viewers from caption confusion. You'll edit and format transcripts of podcasts, videos and interviews for publication. And so this one is perfect for the grammar Nazis out there and those who can decipher mumbled words as well. So here's what you'd likely start off for an entry level job. And here's what Glassdoor says is the average earning for this career. Now, I will say that this is one of the most common job types that people initially do when they're first trying to make money online. A lot of the time, it's a bit of a gateway job where people just do it for a short period of time just to be able to bridge the gap between not making money online and making money online. And then when they find something better to do, they're going to switch to that. Because the truth is, this is a bit mind numbing work. But with that being said, a quick guide to land the job would be one, definitely improve your typing speed and accuracy. Two, you definitely want to familiarize yourself with transcription software. And three, you want to practice with various audio sources. Now, some websites for job listings would be rev.com, transcribeme.com, and upwork.com. So overall, this one is solid. Again, it's not the sexiest or most attractive career out there. It is mind-numbingly boring in many cases. But with that being said, it is relatively easy to actually
actually start making money. So I'm going to give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you go from deciphering words to deciphering insurance policies, our next job on this list might have you wishing for those mumbled podcasts again. And that's going to be a remote insurance claims adjuster. Now, if you've ever dreamed of being a detective, but without the danger or the cool hat, this job might be for you because you're going to be investigating insurance claims, assessing damages and determining payouts. And it's kind of like solving puzzles, but with the added bonus of occasionally crushing someone's hopes of a big payout. So this is probably how much you'd earn starting off. And here's how much you would make on average, according to Glassdoor. Now, this is one of those careers and one of those jobs that my research team and I, we see all the time. There's so many opportunities in this industry. But with that being said, it does tend to have a bit lower job satisfaction. So if you're one of those people where you don't mind doing a job that's probably pretty boring and has low job satisfaction, and you just want to get your foot in the door and start working remote, this is one of those jobs that has a ton of opportunity, but it's probably not something you want to do forever. So what you want to do here in order to land the job is, of course, first get familiar with insurance policies and regulations. Then you want to develop strong analytical and problem solving skills. And then depending on the state you live in, you might want to consider getting a claims adjuster license. And the websites that you can check for jobs that are available would be indeed.com, insurance-jobs.com, and glassdoor.com. So overall, this one has a ton of opportunity, lots and lots of open jobs. We literally see like thousands and thousands of them every single time. And it's not just this exact career, but it's just the insurance industry in general. But with that being said, these are not the most desirable jobs. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now from adjusting claims to adjusting ad bids, our next job might have you clicking more than a restless gamer because not only does this job pay well, but it also is relatively enjoyable too. So the next job on the list is going to be a pay-per-click campaign manager. And if you've ever wondered who's responsible for those ads that seem to read your mind, well, you're about to join their ranks because you're going to be managing pay-per-click advertising campaigns and constantly tweaking and optimizing to get those precious clicks. And it's kind of like playing a never ending game of digital whack-a-mole. Now you'd probably start off making anywhere between this range and Glassdoor says on average, you make about this much. Now, when it comes to landing this job, I actually have a phenomenal resource for you. It's actually a free training, which many people that have watched this channel have used to land jobs in digital marketing. And I'm going to put that free training down in the description and the pinned comment below. So that's basically all you need in order to land a job here. And when it comes to websites for job listings, of course, there's a lot on linkedin.com, also a lot on indeed.com and remoteok.io. But there's honestly a bunch of random job boards that have pretty good digital marketing related listings as well. This one gets a 10 out of 10 opportunity score because it's high demand. It's also growing and people actually enjoy digital marketing jobs. So the next job is going to be a digital asset librarian. And if you're the type of person who color codes their closet and alphabetizes their spice rack, this job will make your OCD heart sing because you're going to be organizing and maintaining digital files and databases for companies. And it's kind of like being a librarian, but without the constant shushing and the musty book smell. So the earning potential here is going to be in this range. And according to Glassdoor, this is how much you make on average. And when it comes to landing the job, what you want to do here is first learn about digital asset management systems. And there's lots of free resources online. I would check out Khan Academy or Coursera. Then you want to develop strong organizational and metadata skills. Then you want to familiarize yourself with various file formats and storage solutions. And here are some really good websites for job listings. Indeed.com is great. LinkedIn.com is great. And also Upwork.com. And overall, this is a growing field because companies are increasingly becoming reliant on digital assets and information and data. And of course, somebody has to keep all of that data in order. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. So next we're going to go from managing digital assets to managing digital properties. And you're going to be doing that as a virtual property manager. Now, if you've ever watched Property Brothers and thought, I could do that. Well, now's your chance, minus the TV cameras and the twin banter, because you're going to be managing properties remotely, dealing with tenant issues and maintenance requests, as well as rental collection. And it's kind of like playing Monopoly, but with real money and real headaches. So here's probably what you'd start off with if you went into this career. And here's what people make on average on Glassdoor. So some quick tips to land this job is first of all, you want to learn about property management software, you can literally use chat GPT to study up on this and know more than like 99% of people within a few days, then you can familiarize yourself with landlord tenant laws. So this is something where you have to study a little bit more and kind of know what the laws are in your area or the areas that you would be serving. And then you want to develop strong communication and problem solving skills. Now, real estate is another one of those industries where whenever we do these types of videos where we're searching for open job opportunities, there is just opportunity after opportunity after opportunity in the real estate industry. So this might be a really good opportunity for you if you want to get into real estate and maybe do something else, or if you just need to get a quick job just to get your foot in the door 
are working remote, and then you want to move on to something else later on down the line. And a couple good websites for job listings is going to be indeed.com and ziprecruiter.com. So this one, I'm going to give an eight and a half out of 10 opportunity score because there's steady demand. And it's a career where you can actually do other things down the line that are going to pay even better. So yeah, this one's pretty good. So next, you're going to go from managing properties to managing medical codes. And our next job might have you wishing for a simple leaky faucet because you're going to be a medical coding specialist. And if you've ever looked at medical bills and thought, is this written in an alien language? Congratulations, you've encountered medical coding. And I've talked about this before on the channel, but there are tons of these random medical related careers, probably thousands of these. And every time we do research on this, just over and over again, these are the types of careers that pop up. And they're relatively easy to get into. Most of the time, they don't require a college degree or previous experience. Many of them do require some training, but usually the company will actually train you themselves. So in this position, you'll be translating medical procedures and diagnoses into a standardized code for billing purposes. And it's kind of like being a secret agent, but instead of cracking enemy codes, you're going to be deciphering doctor's notes. So good luck with that. Now, here's how much you'd probably be making starting off. And this depends on the area that you live in and the company that you're working for. And here's how much you'd make according to last door. Now, a quick guide to landing the job is first, you're going to complete a medical coding certification program. And usually this is actually offered by the company themselves. Then you're going to familiarize yourself with medical terminology, and then you're going to stay updated on coding guidelines and regulations. Now, some websites that often have job listings are going to be aapc.com, indeed.com, and flexjobs.com. So the opportunity score here, I'm going to have to give it an eight out of 10. There's so many of these random little medical careers where it, they're relatively easy to get into. They're super niche. And if we go into a recession, you're still going to have a job because medical jobs are the least affected in recessions. Plus, there's a lot of different other medical related careers you can move into later on down the line. So next, we're going to go from decoding medical jargon to decoding excuses for late payments. And this job might have you missing those incomprehensible doctor's notes. And that's going to be a collections specialist. So last but not least, we have a job that's perfect for those with thick skin and a talent for awkward phone conversations, because you're going to be contacting people who owe money and try to collect on those payments. So it's kind of like being a telemarketer, but instead of selling products, you're selling the idea of paying their debt. So you're even more annoying. Now, all joking aside, this is another one of those careers and another one of those industries where we see countless amounts of jobs available. The truth is most people don't want to be that annoying person who calls people about debt collection. It's a very uncomfortable job to do. So if you're okay with that and you really just want to get a remote job and you want to get one fast, this is another one of those jobs that's very, very easy to get into. And I'm not saying you're going to be doing this forever. However, there are really good positions you can move into later on down the line, and you can always move into a different industry as well once you've got some experience. So here's the earning potential. This is probably what you'd be paid starting off. And here's what Glassdoor says you'd make on average. Now, in order to get started with this, you want to develop strong negotiation and communication skills, and you really want to just have thick skin. That's the main thing that you need because you can pretty much just follow the script. Then you also want to learn about debt collection laws and regulations, and then you want to practice staying calm in stressful situations because you are going to have a lot of people that get mad at you. Now, some websites here for job listings are going to be indeed.com and ziprecruiter.com. And overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. And always remember, sometimes the most unexciting jobs can lead to the most exciting paychecks. And sometimes making boring but realistic content on YouTube can also be the same way. By the way, guys, if you haven't seen it already, check out my video where I talk about these seven remote jobs that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.